barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I want to talk about, it's the one-year anniversary today, June 30th. Well, I actually heard it June 29th at about 9, 10 p.m. Uh, last year, but it came out on June 30th of last year. Uh, Jay-Z's 444 album. And, and I just want to do this video and just be as um, as transparent as I can. And, um, you know, when I heard that video, it like, I mean, when I heard that song, when I heard the album, but when I heard Jay-Z say a man who can't take care of his family can't be rich, when I say that shit hit home, it hit home like, I mean, I can't explain how, uh, like, I, I wouldn't, I, I, I can't judiciously put it into words what that what that album did for me but that line and family family feud right um you know because we go through life or since this video about me you go through life and you put your head down and you work and 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 i know a lot of y'all men out there can attest to this like you go through life and your job is to protect and provide right protect and provide so you have a family protect and provide, protect and provide, protect and provide, protect and provide, and we and, and we become short sighted, and we forget about the other entities in our life, about the about the emotional uh, the emotional growth we must have, the spiritual growth we must have. You understand the metaphysical growth we must have. We forget about all of these things, right? You understand what I'm saying? And then when we wake up, like me, thirty nine. 38 years old, 39 last year, it was 39. you like, damn, I know I've been working trying to secure the bag, right? But these other elements in my life are not where they are in terms of my work ethic, in terms of my physical work ethic, in terms of my, my the tangible things in my life. And uh, it, it, that that album did for me what people might say what TD Jakes do for you, what uh, Crefio Dollar does for you, or whoever pastor, famous pastor I could think of off the top of my head, does for y'all, right? And I, I, I always say, like, Jay-Z is my pastor, right? And uh, it put things in focus and perspective for me, right? Like, the uh, pieces, the places in my life where I was weak, the people in my life that weren't assets, um, the uh, things in my life that was detriment to my growth on all levels. Um, and, and you know, uh, what it reminded me too is to be present. You know, like, like so many days, like in my life, when I work so much, I know that I know that I can mask everything with work, right? When you own property, you literally never can run out of work. Literally. You can work from sunup to sundown, whether you're painting, whether you're doing small things around the property. You can never, ever run out of work. Genuinely, I'm being genuinely honest with you guys, right? And I would mask, like, like or I, I had I had the capability of, Saying, oh, I'm going to work, as opposed to developing my spiritual, uh, my spiritual development. I I'm sorry, but a video is uploading in the background. So if you guys hear the engine going, the process of working, uh, that's why I'll, I'll try and speak a little bit louder. Um, so I was masking it, right? And, and, and as I said, when you get to 40 years old and you realize, oh, my, my spiritual man needs growth, my emotional man needs growth and that album did it for me he was so personal on that album and and in some instances you know jay-z has the same problems you have in your life it's like wow like not that he's immune see i never ever put uh famous people on a pedestal right i'm around them every weekend <laughs> every weekend of my life basically half of half of half of the year i'm around them thursday to sunday so I'm, I'm acclimated to that climate very well. And I, I grew up on the west side of L.A. So honestly, 
it becomes a part of your life, having, having celebrities as allies, right? And um, But it's just comforting when you're not alone. I mean, it's Jay-Z, yes. I've never met the man. But it's, it's just comforting. Like, like they say, misery loves company. Well, so does success. So does uh, successful stories. So does stories of triumph. They don't like they don't like being alone either. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when Jay Z was rapping and telling those stories and being very uh, very transparent, uh, I was feeling everything he was saying, or, or a lot of what he's saying, and, and and putting in my life. And as soon as I woke up the next morning, I started addressing my problems. Two days later, after I. Uh, Two days after I heard the album, I was in escrow on another property. Two days after. For real, for real, no lie. And uh, like I always tell you, whenever you get inspired, you immediately have to put in action to it. Or else, it's just gonna, or else you're going to squander away the motivation. These are just facts, guys. All right? And uh, I just want to be as transparent, maybe... Maybe you guys need to revisit the album. Maybe somebody need to hear this. But I just want to be as transparent, as honest as possible. You know what I mean? It's so easy to ignore spiritual development, emotional development when you're working and you're getting a great return on your work ethic, on your physical work ethic. You understand what I'm saying? So if, if I spent X amount, just to give you guys an example, if I spent X amount of dollars a month, if I spent... If I know I'm making ten dollars a month, right, and I and I have the capabilities of spending four dollars, which is forty percent income, right, but I'm making ten dollars a month, I know I'm getting, a, I'm still got sixty six sixty percent, and that's just the realities of life of being a man, and in, in, in terms of your growth, you know, I I think we all go to this to some degree, whether it be spiritual or emotional, but you know, it's a uh, it's easy to turn to fiscal and tangible rewards on earth because that's what people value. And uh, we all fall short and I fall short in that, you know, I'm definitely not the perfect man. But uh, that album just reminded me that in addition to, oh, what was I going to say about the reward? Reward is if you're spending forty percent and you know you're getting ten dollars a month and you're spending four dollars a month, you don't really stress because you know it, it, it's a reoccurring thing. You getting the, the ten dollars a month, so you can spend forty percent of your income, right? And, and and what that does, it gets you comfortable and it becomes a subliminal distraction, and you don't see it. You don't see the subliminal distraction because life is easy. Life is grand, right? You know you can hang out with your friends. Uh, you can afford to pay for dinner. You never run out of gas in your car. You never run out of work. You always smile and you're around people who respect you and honor you. And 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 uh, things are just running smoothly, right? But that album challenged me. That I'm, I'm seriously like to really, really hone in on my community. Uh, if, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been real active in terms of using my platform, using my voice, using my, more importantly, using my assets, using my money, uh, using my energies to actually leave an imprint on my community. And I, I, I'm not saying it was that it was just that album, but when you're sitting on the couch at 10 o'clock at night and, and you believe someone is speaking to you and someone is speaking to, speaking to the needs in your life and you don't respond, you're the fool. And uh, that album did it for me. Um, to me, that album was a masterpiece. You guys may disagree with it, may think it was just okay. It wasn't too many punchlines. You know, it, it was just really like a a cathartic, a cathartic experience in metaphors. You, you understand? So, um, I'm a huge fan of that album. Uh, I obviously I listened to it today. It was the anniversary, but I I work out to that album rather often. It's special to me, and um, you guys listen to the album. So, but but at the end of the day, start listening to yourself. 
Start listening. When you get inspired, put an action to it. And it's okay if you get inspired from, like, since this video is about me, the uh, me being inspired by Lavelle, the guy, the Crenshaw Cowboy. If you guys live in L.A., you guys know who I'm talking about on Adams and Crenshaw. You understand? It went from me running by him, waving at him, me running by him, saying hello, me running by him, having full conversations, me getting back to the boxing gym 15 minutes later than I was supposed to, to me being to then me being inspired by him, then me saying, you know what? If this man is inspiring me every day, this man is giving to the community every day, I have to do my best to help this man. And then, and you guys saw the video where we actually got him resources to go back to uh, to get housing for him. Now he's since turned down the housing, which hurt me deeply. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I I I, I, I spoke about that to the best of my abilities. And um, and what I concluded to that, maybe one of you guys need to hear this. Your blessing is not contingent upon how someone else receives. The blessing you gave them and how they use it your blessing is independent you just give you just give and and thank and thank the universe and god that you have the ability to give okay that's just your all right don't worry about how they do the blessing so like when you give someone a hundred dollars and they squander it you give it to them you don't loan it to them you give it to them you just give them a the hundred dollars you know the you're going to get the instinct to complain mentally and be because we're human, right? Through yourself, you know what this, and I'm in that group. But, uh, you know, but when you, when you give, just give. And, 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 and what I want to say is that, um, you know, we got to, yeah, whether you're being inspired, but when you be inspired, put an action to it. Lavelle inspired me. So I put an action to it. And it could be someone who, who to the rest of the world looks like he has nothing. But he gave me he gave me everything. I, I mean, I, I, I still run by him to this day. And uh, I'm going to run by him on Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning. And I'm going to yell at him. And I'm going to say, why did you turn down the things? And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to help him. You understand? But, 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 you know, wisdom that doesn't just come in... Uh, in words of expression. All right. Wisdom come in thoughts. Wisdom comes in action. I'm going to say that again. Wisdom just doesn't come in words. Wisdom's, wisdom comes in thought. Wisdom comes in action. Wisdom comes in the spiritual man. There's so many different elements to wisdom. And um, so now I have to be judicious and be wise in terms of how I give. How I give to Lavelle because I thought I gave him everything. Right. You know, I, I mean, obviously, if I'm talking to him every day, common sense would, would tell you to believe that I'm giving him money, I'm feeding him, you understand, stuff like that. So, but at the end of the day, I felt like I gave everything. And, and, and if you saw, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, something's wrong with y'all. That was the few times in my life where I felt like I was aligned with God. For real. I'm just being real with you. I felt like I was God on earth. Like I felt like God was in me, working with me to accomplish and getting this man's services. And um, so, so you can be inspired by him, or you can be inspired by a multi-billionaire like Jay Z, who I will never ever meet. I will only, well, I'm talking about percentage-wise, who I will only know through his lyrics and and what the media portray him as. And both ends of the spectrum financially, I was inspired by this year, you know, and this has been the biggest growth I've ever had in my life spiritually. My spirit is so calm. I have so much joy. I'm, I, I'm not bragging and all this. I mean, my, my true subscribers will fully understand where I'm going and where I'm coming from. All y'all non-believers, y'all gonna be like, oh, Fred's just talking about himself again. Well, I'm only an expert on myself. That's it. I only, you only can be an expert on yourself. You can't be an expert on baseball, boxing, basketball. You are only an expert on yourself. That's it. So the more you learn and talk about yourself, the, I mean, literally, 
the more helpful you can be to someone else because people learn through experiences and you are you are a caveat your life is a caveat of personal experiences that you should share so anyways man i i i i i this is the one year anniversary and this is the video that i want to tell you guys I just want to be vulnerable and transparent and just be honest with you guys, man. That Jay-Z album was special to me. When I say special, it was completely special. And uh, hopefully you guys will revisit. Hopefully that this will video inspires you to listen to whoever inspires you and forces you and inspires an action. When you're inspired, put an action to it. Please listen. I heard the Jay-Z album. Two days later, I was an escrow on the property. Now, I, I, I'm being honest. I can bullshit my way through the rest of my life. I can spend $3,000 a month, $4,000 a month, $5,000 a month, and I know it's coming back to me. I can, bullshit, I, I can bullshit my way and fool a lot of people, but I can't fool myself. Right? And, and, and at the end of the day, I was fooling myself to a certain degree. I'm being real. And if we've had personal comments, if you've had personal conversations with me over the years, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So uh, at the end of the day, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to admit that you're wrong. Don't be afraid to acknowledge that you need growth. Don't be afraid to acknowledge to work towards growth. All right. Be great. Be the greatest version of yourself. You know, that's stated a lot on Instagram and everyone living their best life. Live your best life. Live your best life. If you believe in reincarnation, you believe in reincarnation. But right now, if you believe in reincarnation, why start where you're at now? Start where your, your, your greatness ends here in this lifetime. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace.